Students and friends, uh, I'm here with a special guest, former student of mine, but doing really cool stuff in this world. And I can't wait for you to learn more about him and his job and his pathway to get there. So Eric, without further ado, so I don't steal all the thunder, would you be willing to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what your current job is and what that looks like, my friend? Hey guys, I'm Eric Kokanig, uh, former Sandberg alum. So yeah, just a little bit about me. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer uh, here with Milwaukee Tool uh, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Went to Purdue University in Indiana, studied electrical engineering there. So just to talk a little bit about myself, went to Purdue University, uh, graduated in 2020, <laughs> quite, quite the year to graduate. Yeah. Um, but before that, yeah, coming out of Sandberg, um, I went to Moraine Valley Community College for two years, um, so did uh, some gen eds there, uh, and then transferred to Purdue University uh, to finish up my degree there. So uh, from Moraine Valley, I went into electrical engineering there, um, made a lot of great friends, um, joined a few, lots of organizations on campus, um, Purdue's my home, love it. Uh, yeah. And then, um, yeah, you know, COVID and COVID hit in about 2020 and uh, things were getting a little rough. I went right on spring break and right when spring break hit, <laughs> we were completely online from then. So uh, still wasn't sure what I was going to do after, after school at that point. Cause uh, I had some, a couple, you know, job leads lined up, but uh, we weren't sure what was going to happen as far as COVID and, you know, how things would play out after that. But uh, things worked out great. Um, my company was willing to work with me as far as uh, COVID protocols and taking the, the you know, proper precautions and uh, we made it work. So I've been uh, here with Milwaukee Tool for a, oh, just over one year now as an electrical engineer. Well, that's awesome. And I'm glad that you were able to get in the work field during such a tricky time. Let's just call it tricky, unique, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. But, you know, with, with this being said, you have a background in electrical engineering. You're with a company that's very well known and important uh, to, to the world in, in industry and building in that. Could you walk us through like, what does a typical day look like for you? And are you working that route of electrical engineering or are you using that or is it something else? We would just kind of like to hear, we know what your degree and background is in, but how do you use that? And what does a, a regular day look like for Eric? Sure. So Milwaukee Electric Tool, um, you know, they've been along, around for a long time. Uh, they specialize in power tools, uh, specifically in trades, and now are getting more into commercial. Uh, so uh, as an engineer for them, you know, some of my daily stuff is uh, I work specifically with batteries and chargers. So uh, our 12 and 18 volt batteries that you see on all of our drills and uh, sawzalls and all kinds of equipment like that. Uh, I work hand in hand with those. So uh, I do use my degree and knowledge from degree a lot, I would say. Um, you know, working on those uh, requires a bit of that kind of electrical knowledge. Yes. Um, so a typical stuff for me at work would be, uh, you know, I, I work with, um, with those battery packs testing uh, with new prototypes. Um, I do lots of uh, uh, discharging of packs, um, analysis, data analysis, um, summarizing data, uh, some kind of, you know, lower entry stuff as I'm only with the company for a year. But um, what I do like to tell people is uh, the fun part of my job, I get to, I get to blow up packs actually. Whoa, <laughs> so okay. yeah. So um, one of the tests we do, it's a, like a short circuit test and we really test the limits of some of our packs here in, uh, in Brookfield and some of our um, more high tech kind of equipment testing. Uh, and some, some of that is, uh, you know, we really push the limits of the packs and they blow up and I get oh. to see that in real time in like a controlled environment. So really exciting stuff. Um, you know, might sound a little, uh, a little boring to some, but honestly that it's great to me. And I, I think it's a lot of fun. I get to actually use my degree with which, in engineering is sometimes hard to come by in that first year uh, in the workforce, but uh, I enjoy it a lot. So what I'm trying to think of this setting. So are you, when you're doing this type of stuff, are you in a lab, in an office? Are you going from the office to the lab? Just curious how that works. Yep. So we have a big uh, office here. Uh, it's about like a four story building. Um, my, the primary, uh, you know, 
work is in a lab. Uh, so we have multiple lab spaces. Uh, these are very like closed environment kind of offsite uh, that we go to because some of these uh, bigger paths for testing are, can be quite dangerous, honestly. And uh, we have all types of precautions as far as, uh, you know, extinguishing packs from from fire and explosions even so uh, mm. it's cool stuff it really is and then uh, I would say the other half of my job is working here in the office and kind of uh, capturing all that data I've acquired and summarizing it for the right people um, but we have a number of different buildings here we're, we're actually expanding to in the downtown Milwaukee area uh, some of our marketing department is going to move down there um, and uh, but primary engineering is here in uh, in the suburbs of Milwaukee so Wow, that's very interesting. Now, when you're doing these tests, are you with a specific group that focuses on testing the limits of the battery? Is there another group working on like efficiency, making batteries last longer? So are things, when you work in this industry, at least with this company, is it pretty, uh, what's the word, like specific? You have a very specific set job and there's another team working on another specific set job? Yes, definitely. So, um, you know, my job is specifically in, uh, batteries and chargers. There's a number of different departments here. You got everything from mechanical engineering to uh, industrial engineering. Uh, we have departments that are specific to uh, specific to power tools uh, or like outdoor power equipment. Um, we have um, a whole department whose sole job is just to think of literal new tools to use, like a a, a production a new prototype department. Cool. Uh, so, so we hire all kinds of uh, different, you know, skill sets. Uh, and there's lots of different departments that, you know, will get you in something that, you know, you're comfortable in. Uh, so yeah. when you're working, do you find yourself working solo in the lab? Or is this a team thing where you're working together to get data, push that information to the right people? Yep. I work with uh, about 10 different guys. Um, we, uh, lots of them are technicians. Um, so, uh, some of it is, is more of your, um, you know, just bare bones testing a pack kind of thing. Uh, that's what we call it a pack, a battery pack. Um, okay. and then you have, uh, like engineers that I also work with that I, uh, am in talks with, uh, some of the data, uh, compiling all the data, um, presenting it to some of our like, uh, leadership. And, uh, then that goes on to kind of like a marketing. Uh, so all the teams kind of work well in hand here. Uh, mm -hmm. I talk to a number of different people, not just the ones on my team, I would say, um, you know, lots of people in all different areas of the company, honestly. So. Understood. Well, that, that's super cool to think about in that is the main goal of your research then is it one like to find as safe or is it to test the limits or is it to uh, make the most powerful battery that's safe and the least expensive? Like, is there an overall arching goal that you're told or is it just like, hey, we need you to figure out the limits of this and then we'll take it from there? Sure, yeah, so I'm, I'm part of a, uh, a team that specializes in what's called alternative cells. So mm -hmm. uh, the packs that you see in Home Depot or any store, you know, that you can find our, our products, um, we're specifically looking to expand uh, some of our manufacturing. Uh, mm -hmm. Most of the manufacturing is with Samsung and LG brands, you know, maybe you're familiar sure. with, they make our cells for our battery packs, the actual cells that go inside the packs. Um, so we're looking to kind of expand, find new manufacturers. So part of my job is testing those new manufacturers and uh, you know, we're looking to really just grow our product more. So. Oh, awesome. Well, Eric, thank you for sharing kind of the day in the life. And for sure. I'm hearing a, a lot with communication and groups and using your degree in that. If I could bug you for just a few more seconds or minutes, even uh, when looking back in your journey with school and where you are now, are there any skills, tips, ideas, suggestions for our students that might benefit them, prepare them or help them in any way? Sure. So you know, like, I, like I said before, I went to a community college, Moraine Valley, um, you know, very close by to Sandberg. Uh, mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I think going out of high school, I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, you know, I was kind of interested in maybe a computer science or programming. And then, you know, lo and behold, I take a couple classes and I figure out I'm, I'm just terrible at it. It's not for me, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. um, you know, going to Moraine was, uh, you know, sometimes it was tough, you know, seeing some of your friends go away to those four-year programs. But all in all, I think, you know, Moraine was great for me in that it helped me kind of figure out what I wanted to do before I got there. Um, I would say that was a great way to kind of mold, you know, my pathway in my career. 
Um, and honestly, you know, it kind of taught me how to, you know, deal with a little bit of adversity. I would say, um, you know, you can't be afraid of adversity. And really for me, that's, uh, that's kind of what Moraine helped me do. Uh, and there's no, honestly, no downside in going to community college, you know, for those, for those gen eds, I think you can have a great, you know, time as a transfer student at Purdue, at any university, like, like I did with Purdue. Um, I still had a great three years, two years, whatever it's going to be after you do that. And uh, I think that, you know, that would be my biggest advice, uh, you know, dealing with adversity, you know, don't be afraid of it kind of thing. Awesome. No, thank you. That is phenomenal advice. I appreciate you bringing that up. And I love that there are different pathways to take to get to your end result. And you're right. A lot of our students leaving school aren't quite sure exactly what it is, what problems they want to solve or that. So I think the community college is a wonderful place to do that. And also, we all know that college is not inexpensive. So if you can find a way to do that, that is more valuable for your time and, and wallet. I think that's a great plug. So thank you for bringing that up. Now, as far as electrical engineering, does that tend to be a program that's four years? Does that require a master's? Could we just talk about that really quick? Sure. Yeah. So um, electrical engineering is is primarily a four-year program, I would say. Um, you, you definitely don't you know, need to get a master's, especially at my job. Um, I would say primarily of the engineers here don't have a master's. Um, not to say that, you know, that's a bad thing to do, but, um, you know, what you learn in the undergrad, undergrad is, is very, um, you know, goes over everything. <laughs> I yeah. mean, I have learned so much, everything from, uh, you know, power, uh, electronics programming. Um, it really encompasses kind of all there needs to know, you know, in the program. Um, so yeah, I would say, you know, I don't think I, I, I didn't really need to go for a master's. Um, I'm thinking about it as far as like maybe a managerial uh, kind of thing, maybe go for like an MBA type thing, but um, you know, definitely primarily of at least our engineers kind of just have that undergrad. Awesome. And one last question then, and I will leave you alone, Eric, but thank you for your time. Uh, as far as getting a job, are there any suggestions? Is it a networking thing? Is it doing internships? Is it all the above? Is it, luck of the draw have you seen success between you or any acquaintances too that might help students find that job once they do figure out what they want to do sure yeah it's a great question because uh you know now i'm actually helping recruiting with with my company down at purdue and so i really came full circle with that and that you know that's an awesome thing but um for me you know it was really putting myself out there um you know doing whatever i had to do to do that and um uh, at, at Purdue, we had a number of career fairs there um, with upwards of over 300 companies. Um, and these were all, you know, some of them Fortune 500 companies, you know, very well known in the workforce. Um, it was, you know, a two day event, maybe six hours a day in the blazing hot sun and everybody's dressed nice in their suits. And, you know, you just kind of want to be done with it. And, uh, for me, I was going to that every single year in college, uh, you know, just trying to get that one interview. Um, and it's tough because, you know, sometimes you, you, you go a whole day and you come up, you know, blank. Um, but really kind of, for me, it was putting myself out there. I, I think I might have applied to over 100 companies, you know, mm -hmm. filling out over 100 applications. Um, you know, having that one-to-one -one with a recruiter, um, really kind of bringing out, you know, how involved you are on campus and, uh, you know, what you really are passionate about. I think that a good recruiter will see that. Um, and for me, that's kind of what happened. I had a, uh, an interview with um, uh, one of the recruiters here at Milwaukee Tool and him and I really had that one-on-one -on -one, uh, connection. And, um, you know, we were just talking about our passions and, you know, what kind of drives us. And I think that's what really helped me. And, you know, going at an interview or, you know, whatever you are applying for, uh, you know, at a hundred percent, I think it, you know, you can have luck with that. So. Thank you. That so many chestnuts of great advice there, Eric. I can't thank you enough for that. And for your time, we want to wish you nothing but luck in your career. And of course, health and safety during these unique times. Uh, that's awesome that you're a Purdue alum now. And don't forget, you're always an Eagle too. We love you over here at Sandberg. Always an Eagle. Hey, thanks Phil for your time.